Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are doing my mother-in-law's Southern Pecan Pie. So what makes a Southern Pecan Pie different than a regular pecan pie? I had no idea. I just liked the recipe that my mother-in-law made. And so I asked for it and I've been making it for years. And then I started comparing. And do you know what the one thing is that makes a Southern Pecan Pie different than regular pecan pie? The fat volume. Yes, this has double the butter, which seems logical for a Southern Pecan Pie. So stay tuned for this great recipe on a very buttery Southern Pecan Pie. Okay, first things first, the butter. We are going to put a half stick of melted butter. Most recipes only call for two tablespoons. This calls for four, which is a half a stick, quarter cup. Half, half stick of melted butter. To that we are going to add our granulated sugar, our one tablespoon of cornstarch. Can you get out of there? Let me get all that. We don't want to lose any cornstarch. And our two eggs. Use room temperature eggs when you're baking. Do you all know that? Room temperature eggs while baking. I can't remember why. Just do it. Okay, we're going to mix this all together. Oh, that extra butter really makes a difference, guys. Half teaspoon of vanilla. I use my homemade vanilla. I made this last year and gave away as Christmas gifts. Ooh, people loved that. And then three quarters cup of caro syrup. Now I know this caro syrup isn't necessarily the best thing for you. I use it once a year, so it's not that big of a deal. Having one piece of pie a year with some caro syrup is not going to kill me. We're gonna mix that all together. So we have kind of a custard here now. We are going to add our one cup of pecans. You can use chopped, whole. I'm using whole. They kind of look better on top if you ask me, but use whatever you have. And if you want to add extra, you can add a few extra. I wouldn't go over a half cup extra on the pecans. Okay, that part is done. Pie shell. I know I'm being pathetic. I'm using a store-bought pie shell. Going to just crimp the edges to make it look kind of pretty. Okay, our pie shell looks good. We are going to pour this deliciousness into our crust and bake it at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes. It's going to puff up and that's what we're going to take note. It should puff up and be nice and golden brown on top. Yum. Okay, we are at 40 minutes. Let's look at that baby. It is puffy, very puffy. See that, nice brown. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer, five minutes. I even see it puffing, the, the um, custard is like boiling a little bit, I guess, or just the air is trying to escape. So I'm gonna let it go five more minutes just to be sure. All right, we had this in 40, four minutes and it definitely looks different from when we looked at it a bit ago. That four minutes really helped, so let's take it out. Very puffed up, very delicious. And now we have to let it sit to cool, which is quite the bummer. But we're gonna let it sit and cool and then we are gonna try this bad boy. I can't wait. Now my crust did shrink on one side. I'm not sure why. You know, that's the problem with some of the store-bought pie crusts is that they don't, 
it's just not enough crust for me. I like a big crust um, around my edges and I don't get that. So I was lazy for these videotapings for Thanksgiving. I will definitely be making my own pie crust. I have a no fail pie crust recipe that I super love and it's no fail. It has some very interesting ingredients that I'm not gonna tell you about. I'm gonna make you look yourself and that link should be right above you now. So check that out and see if you like it. It's quite a bit later, pecan pie is done. It's time for the tasting. I think I just love food because everything I taste tastes like the best thing ever. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Try this Southern pecan pie with double the butter. How could you go wrong?